But notice now our temporal interpolation. The sword just kind of suddenly comes to a stop, which might be fine if it were thunking into a piece of wood or a human head or whatever the case might be. But in this case, we just want it to fly in place and, and land behind the skull. So we need to ease into this second keyframe. So I'll select all three of these keyframes, the scale, position, and rotation, and we'll right click on those keyframes and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and there you can see how the little dots are getting closer and closer together, indicating that the, the layer is decelerating to a stop. And we'll render a RAM preview again. Ah, that looks much nicer, right? Much more smooth, fluid motion happening now. Comes to a nice, gentle rest, which feels natural. Um, you know, so this helps take the computer generated edge off of it, which is something you always want to strive for.